I'm late. I'm late. For a very important date. No time to say hello. Goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. It must be awfully important. Like a party or something. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways in which you can accomplish this halo braid. Uh, the first way is by parting your hair in half. So I'm going to take the front section and show you the first method that you can use. And then with the back section, I'm going to show you the second method that you can use. Okay, so I'm going to start off with just one section, the right side of my hair, to show you the first method on how you can accomplish this halo braid. Um, so keep in mind, I do not use any heat on my hair at all. Um, no flat iron, no blow dryer. So my hair is pre-stretched and I pre-stretched it with using cornrows. Um, but if you would like a sleeker look or if you would just like your halo braid to look a little bit more neater and tied together, you are more than welcome to take a blow dryer to your hair, sis. Make sure you use some type of protective oil before you do use a blow dryer and just straighten it out. I will admit that the straighter your hair is, the more sleek and put together uh, this halo braid is going to look but with me since I choose not to use heat at all on my hair I am perfectly fine with how my halo braid ended out okay so now I'm going to take the right side of my head I'm going to part it into smaller sections and I'm going to start slicking down my hair using a pomade and edge control I first use the pomade and I brush it through my hair then I follow the pomade with edge control in order to give it that slick down look. Now the smaller your sections, the more slick down your hair will be and the more put together the end result will be at the end. Once you have your hair slicked down to your preference, you want to go ahead and secure your hair down with either using a French braid or a flat two strand twist. Okay, now keep in mind that this is the first method. So although I am French braiding my hair halfway to the side, if you are doing this method, you're gonna French braid your hair all the way down to the side. And then you're gonna do the same thing that you did on the right side, you're gonna do on the left side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the second method of doing a halo braid. Now, for the second method, I would recommend that you do it this way if you have long hair that you can put into a ponytail going straight back. Or if you have a twa, teeny weeny afro that is not long enough to braid. So essentially the same way that we did the front section to get it slicked down is how we're going to do the back section. So you do want to take small sections and just keep in mind, although I'm doing lar large sections in this video to make this video quick for you guys, you want to do small sections. The smaller the section you slick down, the cleaner the look is going to be at the end. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start slicking my hair down first with using a pomade. Um, I'm using Murray's pomade because that's what I had in my hair bag back from when I had cut my hair and I had started my wave journey. Yes, sis, your girl had waves. <laughs> but you can use any pomade that you like that's going to help get your hair slicked down. And once you have a good amount of pomade in your small section, you want to go ahead and brush it all the way through. Um, so in this video, I'm going to cut the time because I took a lot of time brushing the pomade through. But just make sure you brush it all the way through before you start adding your edge control. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm going to apply the edge control. And I similarly apply it to my hair the same way that I did the pomade. I'm going to apply it to the small section that I have, and then I'm gonna brush it all the way through. Once I'm done with that small section, I'm gonna take another small section, add the pomade to it, brush it through, add the edge control to it, and brush it through. So one of the reasons why I recommend doing this second method if you have long hair is because it's gonna help cut back the time if you could put your hair in a ponytail going back. And second, if you have short hair that's not long enough to French braid, once if you use this method, it's gonna slick your hair all the way back to the point where you could just put it in a small ponytail and you don't have to worry about using the first method at all. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna take my two loose ends of my French braids and secure them with a bobby pin. If you decided to use the first method as your choice for doing the halo braid, then you are going to tie your two loose ends into a ponytail, and you're gonna use that ponytail to connect your braiding hair. So sis, we are almost done. Literally, we're almost done, and it, it didn't take that long at all. So with your ponytail in the back, whether you use the first method or the second method you're just going to secure your braiding hair onto that ponytail okay so once you have your braid in here secured to the back of your ponytail you're just going to play around with the braid a little bit and see how you want your halo braid to fall i know some people like their braid to be more downward um, more close to their forehead whereas other people like to be like their halo braid to be more upward away from their forehead so whatever suits you if you want to show your edges if you don't want to show your edges once you have your halo braid placed the way that you want it you then want to just go ahead and secure it down with bobby pins okay so here's a little trick in order to cover the ponytail that you have in the back you want to just go ahead and wrap your braid over your ponytail that you have and then secure your braid once it's over your ponytail so i know some people like to stop their braid and use a bobby pin to secure their braid once they reach the back of their ponytail but go ahead and take your braid across it bobby pin your braiding hair down to your ponytail so that way you could get more of a non-ending look your braid doesn't look like it has an end to it Once I have my halo braids secured the way that I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and take some time to do my edges. You are more than welcome to do your edges before you get to this point. I am so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad with doing my edges. I'm not sure if it's because I don't apply heat to my hair or if it's just because I have 4C hair. Um, but y'all bear with me. Let me go ahead and do my edges and then we are we're really done. This is it You just got to do your edges. Then we're going to do our hair accessories and we are done All right, so that is it we are done I'm just going to take some time to add these gold hair accessories to my braid You don't have to you can leave your braid as is I'm choosing to add the gold accessories just to make it stand out a little bit more but other than that, we are all done. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I am going to post pictures at the end of this video. So y'all stay tuned so you can see how the halo braid came out.